Scotland's clubs at the National Stadium to launch a new season, a season which got underway with last Saturday's BT Charity Shield. I think it was a great start. It certainly didn't look like a pre-season match. The standard of rugby was very high, some excellent tries, um, very exciting right up to the end and well done for Heriots to hang it in there and then coming through through in the end. So I think it's a I think from now on that will be the signal the start of the season and something we'll look to replicate. So a good start, lets everyone know the rugby season's beginning. Um, and a great success. What's different about the season and the structure this season? A number of things, obviously our, our new sponsorship, BT, sponsoring the Cup and the, and the Leagues, which is fantastic. Um, a new structure below the Premiership with three national teams of 12, national leagues of 12, which will be very exciting. Um, and the Premiership have introduced a playoff system this, this season, which I think will add even more excitement. So all teams will be battling out for the top four place to get in the playoffs, and then the playoffs to get a place in the grand final, which you should add further excitement to, to, uh, to the season. I think there's a great product in the club game as well, the, the high scoring matches, you'll, you'll see more tries, more action. We saw that down at Melrose on, on Saturday, 29-28 um, for the last 10-15 minutes, so some great tries. So you encourage people to get out there, media, supporters, get out and watch the club game because there's some fantastic rugby. Yeah, we've had a really good pre-season. Um, we've still got the majority of our squad still with us and we've just had a new coach in um, who's it's really exciting. He's really, um, he's really looking forward to it as well. He's done a lot of work with us, so we're, I would say we're very confident, yeah. For us, example, we've just started up an under 18s and under 15s, I believe, team, um, and we've now got girls coming through into the senior squad. Um, we're hoping to keep that going because that's going to feed our team. Um, so, yeah, I think if other teams, I know there's some teams that have got youth at the moment, but if we can get more youth teams to, to feed through into the, the uh, adult teams, we'll certainly get more girls playing. We've brought Sheila Begbie in uh, to give us a, a bit more focus and direction. Um, there's a number of increasing number of clubs now with, with women's teams and girls setups, so that's something that we want to support further and grow and add, add some ex and some further excitement. And, and you know, we want to create thriving, healthy rugby clubs. And to do that, you need to have males and females playing and involved all the way throughout the club. I don't think they think we tackle each other. Uh, I don't think they think it's as intense and um, as much contact. Uh, I think they probably just think that we run about in our skirts. <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> Melrose is a club we've worked very, very hard. We work um, obviously we have the sevens uh, circuit, which we work through till May, and then players have a couple of weeks off, but they're right back in the gym working, um, trying to put on some size or doing whatever they can to make themselves fit for pre-season, and then we train an extra day in pre-season and try and uh, get in good shape for the season. And it makes a big difference when you can head into the first few weekends um, in top tip-top condition. The boys can't wait, especially after um, losing on Saturday against Heretz, we want to um, get on the right end of the result and show our supporters that we are here to defend our title and get off with a, get off with a win. You were at pains to mention the volunteers that, that make rugby tech I mean, their role within the game, you know, every weekend, whether it's strips, whether it's tees, yeah. whether it's marking the pitches, whatever, how important are they? We, you, we couldn't have the, the great sport that we have with, with, without them, Jim, you know, whether that's uh, refereeing the match, coaching, but in the army of people who make the, the matches happen, you're right, whether it's sorting out the strips, travel arrangements, the clubhouses, serving behind the bar, that's what makes our game great, the people who give up their spare time and their passion about it to, to, to let people run out on the pitch. So big thanks to them.